Here we are at the fourth video in the series. This one's about emails and the emails tab. I'm Ethan with BombBomb. Bomb. In just a minute, Jonathan will show you the ins and outs of the emails tab, how to make and send and track the results of emails with the BombBomb Bomb software. But first, I want to talk about some bigger concepts. And I'll start with the fact that we're an email marketing platform. We've been all about video since day one. So we've always made it easy to put videos into your emails and to give all of your recipients the best video playback experience possible to make your emails more personal and powerful. But we make it equally easy to send traditional emails. So some folks just use us for traditional emails. So you don't always have to send video if you don't want to. So that's the first thing I want to note. Secondly, tracking. We make it easy to make, send, and track your results. Tracking is critical. You need to look at your email analytics and your video analytics for that matter. And there are two main reasons to do this. The first reason is to help you get better over time. Marketing is an iterative process. Every email you send should be a little bit better than the one you sent before. And you can use your tracking and analytics, your open rates, your click rates, what people are clicking, your video play rates, how long people are watching your videos, whether or not they accessed your documents. You can include PDFs and PowerPoints and Excel spreadsheets with the add file button and then track who's looking at those too. So as you look at the analytics, how people are responding to the emails that you're sending, you should learn from that and get better over time. So we give you a lot of information to help you be more effective. And then the second layer is, who should I follow up with? We help make it uh, efficient and effective to follow up with people. You know who's most engaged with your message. So if you send out some kind of an offer, let's say, and you want to know who you should pick up uh, the phone and give a call to today, just take a look at your analytics. You can see exactly who opened the email, clicked on your link, watched your video, and maybe looked at the PDF or the PowerPoint uh, that you included in it. These are the people that are most engaged, and so you'll know based on real behavior who you should follow up with. So get better over time and do follow up and conversion more effectively and more efficiently. So um, that's a little bit about tracking. Now, my favorite tip on email marketing is the one thing. What's the one thing? Every email you send out of BombBomb, you should have a clear purpose. And this purpose should be turned into a call to action. What is the opportunity that a recipient has when they get your email? What is the opportunity they can take you up on? What are you offering to them? What is the purpose of the email sent? So when I receive your video email, I should know why I got it and what my opportunity is. So if you're clear on the purpose, you can turn that into a call to action. And then you set it up in your subject line. You reinforce it with the headline. You bring it to life with the video. You maybe include a couple more bullet points or maybe even a paragraph or two to support it. And then you give the call to action. That's maybe a link out to someplace else or something else. Your call to, call to action could be go here and do this. It could be click here and go read this. It could just be to know something. It could be to RSVP for something. No matter what your call to action is, all of the pieces should lead up to that. Okay, so that's the one thing. What is the purpose of the email send? How do I set that up, uh, drive it home, and then give someone the opportunity to take me up on it? It should be very clear. People are busy, and you know this. Um, people are busy, and so the clearer you can make it, uh, why they're receiving the email and what their opportunity is, what you would like them to do or what they should have the option to do here in this email, the easier you can make that for them, the better off you are, the more effective the email is going to be. So that's a little bit about the one thing. A couple other notes, subject lines. Um, the longer they are, generally, uh, the open rate will be a little bit lower, but the engagement in the email will be higher because the longer it is, the more clear it is to people what is contained inside the email. The shorter it is, you're going to get higher open rates, but generally lower engagement because it's not quite as clear what's going on inside. There's an art and a science to subject lines. You're going to want to test them, try them out, see which ones are most effective for you, continue down that line. Um, and then a little bit of the art to it is kind of teasing. What's the What's the opportunity contained inside? What's the most interesting or uh, excitable thing about what's going on inside your email? And tease that a little bit. You want to be short, interesting, uh, maybe provocative, or, or be explicit and be longer and promise a very specific piece of value. So you need to test that out on your own and see what works. Art and science, there are subject lines. How often should I send emails? That's a common question. Well, frequency is determined by how often you can deliver value to people. How often can you send an email that has something of value for the people or the person um, that's receiving it? So um, how often can I deliver value? That should dictate how often you send email. So that's just some notes about email. If you have any questions at all, pick up the phone and call us. Join us for a live webinar or watch a recorded one. And now Jonathan's going to show you the ins and outs of the emails tab. So this is 
the Emails tab. Here, we can build emails and insert our videos. We like to think of these as virtual documents that, once created and saved, can be used over and over again. Let me show you how. In this example, I want to send a simple thank you video email to a customer that just purchased my product. I'll start by clicking on New Email. In this line here, I give my email a Save As name. Down below, the From name. And over here, the email address I'd like to send the email from. Finally, there's the subject line. I like to include video in my subject line because it improves my open rates. This down here is the email editor. I use these buttons across the top and down the side to edit my email. It's a lot like working with a Word document. I simply highlight the text that I'd like to replace and I replace it with my title. I'll do the same thing with this text down here. And if there's placeholder text in an area where I don't really want to include anything, I just highlight that text and I delete it. Now, I want to insert my video into my email. I start by selecting the placeholder in my email and then I click on the Add Video button. On this screen, I'm provided with three options. I can insert from YouTube, I can record a new video right here in the email editor, or I can choose an existing video. Remember that video that I recorded when I was doing the Videos Tutorial tab? That's the one I'm going to select. I'll see a preview image to make sure that it's the right video, and I select Insert My Video. For this email, I'd like to know when my recipient opens my email and plays the video. So I check both of these check boxes here to enable real-time alerts to this email address. Finally, I click Save, and my email saved. Now, by clicking back on the Emails tab, I can see all the emails that I've created in my BombBomb Bomb account. From this screen, I can go back in and edit the email. I can click View to see what it will look like when it actually arrives in the inbox. I can also create a copy of this email. I can send it, and I can track it. Over here is the link or the landing page where the video email actually resides, and here are my social sharing features. I'm ready to send this email to my new customer, so I select Send. Now, if I wanted to send them to a list, I could select that list from the drop-down menu. Here's the sample list I uploaded in the List Video tutorial. But in this case, I just want to send it directly to a customer, so I put his email address in here. I want this email to go out immediately, but if I wanted to schedule it for a later date, I could select this radio button and set a later date to send it. Finally, I click the Send button, and my email sent. So I just received a real-time alert that my customer both opened my email and viewed my video. I can verify that by clicking on Track right here. Next, I select the send in question, that's the email that I just sent. And sure enough, I can see that my customer opened my email and played the video. That's great news, and that's how the BombBomb Bomb video email system works. Don't have time for all of that right now? Check out this quick send button here on the top right. From here, I can record a video right from my webcam, put in an email address, a subject line, and a message, and hit the send button. 20 seconds or less and a video email is on its way. It's simple, fast, and effective. So that's a big one. I hope you found that helpful. There's a lot of stuff that happens in the emails tab. If you want even more detail, we do a live webinar uh, very often, a couple times a month at least. We also have it recorded, and you can find both of those opportunities at bombbomb.com slash webinar. bombbomb.com forward slash webinar. Webinar singular. We have a whole hour called 
getting started with video email. The whole hour is spent inside the software. It's our introductory how-to session. You'll learn how to get videos in, which we showed you recently uh, in a tutorial video. We'll show you how to get lists in, and we'll show you how to make, send, and track emails. And it takes a whole hour, not just a few minutes. So you'll see even more detail than you just got. But anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Pick up the phone and call us if you have any questions. Next up, we're gonna be talking a little bit about forms, a powerful tool.